Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Oh, for sure. For sure. Please don't pick Ascending Augments. Come on. I feel like the first step to having a fun set is to ignore the pros that play all day. Oh, yeah, right. And then they yell and yell and yell and yell and yell and yell. And then I have to call them out on their crap, and then they just go, oops, clear. All right, well, we got Crab Raid, which is good. Crab Raid is fun. Good thing the Screaming Masses have accountability. Oh, wait. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Jace game? Oh, okay. Well, we got one Jace, so it's a Jace game. I'm too beta to have an opinion, so I just copy opinions from top players. You and all of Reddit. How bad is Jace carry? We literally just got second with it last game, so... How greedy am I? Pretty greedy. Uh, other than crowns and crests, what augments do you believe should be in every set? Golden remover, recombobulator. I mean, golden egg for sure. I don't know. I mean, like stuff like tiny but mighty or tiny but deadly is fine. Um, the term I've been telling the team is basically even those kind of augments, though, I think we should be lightning bolting, which is like making alterations of them. Like celestial blessing or some form of it should be in every set. Does it have to literally be celestial blessing? Probably not. Bum, 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 bum. 20 gold. Alright, Azir, one, two, or three. I don't care which. Pick one. Azir says two. Hard commit. Alright, what are we playing? Chrono. Okay, so after each carousel, the first carousel, we're going to get a Vex. The second carousel, we're going to get a, Car a Karma. So we're basically playing a Karma game. And then the third carousel, we're going to get a Camille. Okay. I was one off recon three-star recon for like 10 rounds last game. Oof, feels bad. I have two friends who say this game is always RNG. What advice can you give them that it's not that? I mean, the typical thing we do in that situation is we ask them how Dish Soap keeps being so good then if it's just RNG, but a lot of people like that you really can't convince. Because he's blessed by the RNG god? Clearly. Clearly. To be fair, I got first with 8 Witch and the Poppy Hero Augment. Cool. Uh, oh, build a bud. I was like, how do you already have that? Build a bud. I mean, the fact that we get six chrono guaranteed is pretty sweet. The challenge is just right now our items kind of suck for it. So, and we're just going to lose a bunch of fights right now. Thoughts on two-star Ari out-damaging three-star Varus? Uh, well, my thoughts are you can read Reddit and then didn't even read the comments. Good job. I'm proud of you. OK, 
Okay, I need to not miss Jax like an idiot, by the way. No, because this person, this first time chatter is referring to the fact that there is a Reddit thread where the Varus 3 was out damaged and lost to the RE2. Uh, but what they also didn't mention is that it was a double up game. The three star Varus had no other items and their teammate was basically AFK. Cool. Eh, lose by two. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Doesn't matter. Varus 3 still lost. True. If you have just a Varus 3 on your board, you should be able to beat both people in double up. You're right. Hey, guys, look. It's my favorite. It's Pyro Emblem. Okay. Unfortunately, if we're going to make this build work, I literally just have to take the tier so that we can get a second tier. God, the item situation is really, 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 really bad here. The fact that we get guaranteed six chrono is good, though. Do you think Fiora needs a nerf? I do, personally, yes. Is Shojin bad here? It's definitely not as good. Okay, there's our free Vex from Hard Committed. Yeah, let's nerf four cost man. I mean, yeah. So Fiora in the previous game actually one shot full HP at least before two transformation. There's no exaggeration there. Oh, I know. Remember, I don't know if you remember, but we saw this yesterday. There was the the uh, Cassiopeia Pyro game, and the Fiora got on her and almost one shot the Cassiopeia three. It was like ten percent HP remaining. Our goal is to lose this by, like, two, but it's a portal opener, so, you know. Oh, it's, uh, I was like, I see Rise, and but it's a subscription service. Okay. So, will they be a B patch? Will they be or not they be? That is they question. Are Riot angling more towards players playing reroll over four-cost carry? No. No. Guys, apparently me saying Fiora needs a nerf means I actually hate all four costs. How old are you people? I actually want to know. How old are you guys? But like, this is what goes through your head. <laughs> I got Brawler's Claw Fiora 3. Yeah, that seems good. Lots of free bans right now. True. True. Uh, I need a Jax. I need, I need a lot of things. But at this point, like I said, may as well just take the loss streak. Another subscription service player. Sheesh. Soju not streaming, so everyone flock. That's okay. Soju not streaming just means like plus 1,500 viewers for me. So I'm okay with that. Oh, come on. You better win this. The only bad thing about all the subscription service players here is I'm worried. I'm worried that they're going to be... Well, wait, I get a guaranteed karma. Never mind. I get a guaranteed karma. More, what an amazing way to get them banned. I know. It's fine. Still need another mage also. How, how funny is it going to be, by the way, when I just don't see another Jax for the whole game? I'm stuck on four chrono. Also, fun fact, pretty sure six chrono is like really bad right now, but I'm hard committed. Get it? Get it? Because it's the name of the comp.
Zoe 3 from Build a Bud. Neat. Again, expectation is still we lose a couple more fights here. Did the Jace game go second? Yep, yeah, sure did. Boom. Uh, Chrono Emblem would be cool. Anything Chrono related would be fine. Blossoming Lotus is actually even okay here. Oh, you just take that. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I'm not going to be in Portal much longer, so... We go to seven. We lose two more rounds. There's three 50-plus-year-old people here. Well, welcome. Uh, why three-star multi-striker cast and feel stronger than some four-costs or even five-costs? I doubt five multi-strikers beating you that hard. Uh, well, I mean, that's a poppy three. I don't think we're killing that. Yeah, we got close. Hey, we killed it. Nice. Okay, one more loss. One more loss. Full loss streak into six chrono-ish. I need an Encanter. Which Encanter do I want? Hmm. Uh, have you ever had an idea of a first augment which gives you a legendary unit? No, absolutely not. It's, if we had that augment, all of a sudden what we can do with legendaries has to be balanced around the fact you could get them at 2-1, which would be too much. Person's level 7, 50 gold, vanguards, shields up. Chrono feels so weak, but I'm a new player. Oh, it is. Chrono's pretty weak right now. Chrono's on my buff list. I think the four and the six... The two piece is amazing. The four and the six piece are uh, not. 16 people lost access to their Twitch channel today by admitting to Azir they will be breaking TOS. Don't do that. Don't break TOS or Azir will find you. Sounds like something a zero would do. Okay, we get our free. We get our free uh, karma right here. We haven't won a single fight all game, which is fine. Show tattoo. Go. Now we just need a 1% Camille. Well, remember, we get guaranteed a Camille at 4-5. Four, 4-5, five. Four, five, we get it for sure. So, if anything, what we need is Karma 2 and a better front line. 
Because we go to eight, that's when we put in Camille. It'll be six Chrono, three Mage, two Encanter. Sweet. Hilariously enough, I think this is slightly better. Slightly. By Fiora? Why? Fiora's never going in this comp. Good heal. Dead. Good. Okay. Starting to come back. Cell Vex and Frontline Karma with Sterix. The biggest challenge right now that we're going to face is that Vex 2 will not cover it. Like, it has to be Vex 3. Is this augment just bad? Who uses this augment? I don't care that my karma gets attacked. Like, it's literally just a freaking Camille augment? Zillion doesn't care, really. Yeah, weird. Oh, well. Uh, hey Mort, have you guys looked at adding the hyper roll ranks to profiles? Uh, unfortunately, there's not really room. Is the big challenge there? Otherwise, it'd be cool. Okay, Chrono doing its thing. Vex line holding. It wasn't Redemption Last Whisper. No, 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 no. I need Vex to live as long as possible, and I need the Shiv for the Shred since Karma's most of my damage anyway. If you look at my damage, it's mostly blue right now. So. Uh, Max, appreciate the eight months. First day of vacation, just woke up and see you online. Well, welcome. Hope you have a good vacation. No, 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 no. Not this time. Go away. Ugh. I have to take this, but, like, I'm not happy about it. I'm actually really not happy about that. Bedge? I mean, you're absolutely right it's Bedge, but sorry. It is 100% the right call. Mort didn't know the secret Fishbones Camille tech? I sure. My secret Fishbones Camille one? Yeah, I'll be I'll be fine. You have two karmas in? I know. I didn't hit any preservers. Karma's still a chrono unit. She's still an encanter. It's still doing more damage. The dots do stack, so. See, we're winning. Hey, thanks for the gold. Looking strong right now? Not really. Bam, 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 bam. 
Just hit? Again, I was guaranteed it next round anyway, guys. Like, hard commit was giving me a Camille next turn. If anything, the just hit would be if there's a Camille on Carousel. Then you can kill me a just hitter. We get the full heal. See, this is where I think Six Chrono's so bad, though. It's like, thanks for my attack speed. Like, who cares? Only on Chronos? But whatever. Still one. Okay. What rank is more right now? Iron 2. Alright, Camille on... Although I lost too many spots, I wouldn't get it anyway. I'll take the tier. I'll take the tier. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, Karma was the best choice, but I'll take the tier. Uh, does attack speed affect how fast dots tick? Nope. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, more. I was wondering if there's a number of roll if you were looking for a specific charm. Uh, was curious. Where'd it go? Was curious because my game I was looking for salvager charm to get to 10 portal. Oh, I mean... The odds of hitting a specific charm like that are so small, it's usually not worth pursuing. So. Oh, come on, man. Alright, important pair, important pair, important pair, vexes. If we can somehow hit Vex 3 and Karma 2, we'll be in a good spot. Anything else is gravy. But yeah, see, like, Vex was dead there before the freeze, so... That's, like, worst-case scenario for us, is Vex dying before the time freeze. And why I think Chrono's weak. Still win the fight, though. Cool. Gotta say, well done in the patch. I'm enjoying TFT like never before. Have a good one. Thank you. Glad to hear it. If Karma Dot stack, why is the giant attack speed buff not good? She gets more ults to stack? Sure, it's just so, like, she, most of the time she's in her cast animation anyway, so it's like, eh. Karma 2 here was good. I'd like to keep the win streak going, so let's find a charm if we can. Nope. I'm not rolling more than that, so... Salvager's not worth it. Our items are great. Like, you could argue this is kind of bad, but, like, I don't have a better combination here, so... Does Chrono give damage amp also? I mean, yeah, you get the, like, 50 AP, but that's it. Like I said, it basically comes down to can Vex live long enough to get to the time freeze? Because once you do, Vex heals to full, which is great, and then you're fine. That's why you really want Vex 3. The fact we got Blossoming Lotus helps us. This really just comes down to any team that can burst my front line, I will lose to, and if I can't, I will win, so. Uh, I was wondering how much creative input you have in your current role? A lot. Do you see yourself more as a developer or a manager? Developer. In fact, I'm starting to get, I, actually I might, I'm about to be career limited because in order to go up any higher, I would have to hit that sort of like, executive higher level stuff that would make me more of a manager leader than a developer and I don't want to do that move chronospat to who to Nami eh. would Wukong 3 be better here uh, I mean sure but I don't have Wukong 3 so
Uh, I don't have anti-heal, do I? Nope. Shh, chat. I don't have anti-heal. It's fine. It's fine. Red buff's actually a good item anyway. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. I'm an idiot. I mean, what was I going to build? Ginsu's? Eh. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. Nami might burn the back row sooner. Oh, you couldn't burst me in time. I win. Yay. It's fine. Still close though. Still a very close fight. Titans for Camille? Eh. Eh. It's fine. Six belts? Sure. I'll take belts. Four strength, four stam leather belt. When you find another Galio, do you move Spat to Nami? Eventually. Yeah. Again, it really comes down to this, though. This is the thing I gotta hit. Uh, what set was the turning point of TFT for you and why? For me, it would be set three. Yeah, it's either... Th I mean, turning points of TFT is probably actually three is the answer. Um, it's probably three, if not six. Three, six, four in that order. Because six was augments, which was huge. But three was mobile launch and n game not dying, which was also very huge and hi Fiora hi Fiora on my back line that just gets to do whatever she wants fun fun I mean here's a spot where red buff was very helpful still lost but I love Fiora. Dead half the fight. Still does the most damage. Gain a random effect. Yes, please. Not a very good random effect. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay, if we go nine, it's probably just a preserver. Uh, the Dong Buster. Appreciate the seven months. Who's your favorite Shining Force character? I haven't played Shining Force forever. I'd have to go look again. Hi, Fiora. I love Fiora. I'm so glad she's in every comp. Because her traits don't matter. Good CC from Nami, at least. Fiora's still alive. God. Thank you. Stupid Fiora. Why don't you roll for Vex 3? It'll come. I've got plenty of gold. I'm plenty of health. Uh, let's see here. Karma, no. We already have the Edge of Night. Might just be the Gwen? Yeah, I'll take the Gwen. Also, hey, Blue Velvet. Hope you're doing well. Uh, more, you still have proven... You have proven that you can get the Challenger, sure. But can you actually stay Iron 2 for an entire... St oh, right! I get the guaranteed Camille. Sweet. I forgot that was a thing. Why not multi three? I mean, at this point, it might be multi three. Multi three is so minor, though, but yeah, it might be. It might be. Fiora is better Wukong. Well, Fiora's not a tank, but sure. See, this is a comp where I think I lose because Vex will die before the cast. Oh, nope, she lived. That's good. That's good. That's good. Again, as long as Fiora lives. Camille 2 now? Okay, we might we might have turned this around. Six Chrono might work. Is this Sea of Stars music? It is. It is. 
Okay. Top four. Uh, do I need magic resists? Yes and yes. Okay, cool. Okay. What does six chrono do? Uh, when the time freeze happens, everyone heals to full and your chrono units gain 60 attack speed. Okay. As long as Diana... Okay, good. Good. Finish him off. Yes! Okay, cool. Crab Rave time. Should Karma 2 be stronger? Karma 2 is doing fine. What? I'm going to increase my odds a little here. Just a little. I don't know that I beat this, but putting in Multi-Striker, maybe Camille gets the kill and I think we win this? We have the Morello, we have the Camille. We have the full heal. Yes! Crab beaten! Chrono doesn't freeze the crab, that's because he's CC immune. Uh, let's see here. Of these, it's this. And of these, it's this. Excellent. I think we just won, guys. Anybody need a smolder? I'll go down to 40, see if we can find some vexes. That'll stop. Fine. Look if someone is going for a three star four cost. If they are, they get it. It's not a big deal. Again, Vex 3 is going to be the key here, but my Camille items are very good. Big freeze, heal to full. Camille doing Camille things. True damage. Yay. Nami top damage, by the way. Makes perfect sense. Gain a champion duplicator. Okay. Go down to 20. Okay. I mean, there's only one other person left. Strong Preserver comp. Again, just watch to see if Vex lives. That's the million dollar thing. Vex. Oh, barely. But why did she heal the fool? Like, that's the stuff that makes me think Chrono's not working right. Why didn't she heal the fool there? Where was the heal? Missed Karma 3? Yep. Yep, I missed Karma 3. Going for Camille 3. Because here's the thing, remember, we get another Camille. There's the heal. Oh look, it worked that time. And... Not dead. Okay, Camille off Carousel. 
Camille off carousel. I don't even care that it has a crappy emblem. I need one Camille. I need one Camille. Come on. Come on. I think I can survive one round. We'll see. Nami to the left? Yeah, I probably should have. Heal the full. Nami wave was good. Nami wave was good. We're, we win. Hey, it's a first. Not quite. One Camille off. But that's okay. GG. GG.